exactly one year after a deadly shooting aboard the USS Mahan, the Navy says mistakes were made that night, mistakes that cost Petty Officer Second Class Mark Mayo his life. Our Aaron Kelly spent much of the night pouring through this new information from the Navy's final report. Aaron? Well, Tom, the commander of U.S. Fleet Forces Command says this shooting was, quote, an unacceptable security failure. The point of this investigation was to find out what happened that night, why, and what should happen next. The focus seems to be on what went wrong at the very beginning, at the entrance to the base. The investigative report, well over 100 pages, makes it clear that the Navy believes a, quote, egregious failure by security personnel at the entrance to Naval Station Norfolk contributed to the death of Master at Arms Second Class Petty Officer Mark Mayo. It was 11 o'clock at night on March 24, 2014. The report says civilian Jeffrey Savage went through Gate 5 after a civilian police officer didn't check his ID. The officer thought Savage was doing a U-turn, but when Savage didn't, the report says the officer stayed there, told other officers, didn't tell security dispatch, and waited nine minutes before searching for Savage on his own. The report says Savage made it to Pier 1 and left his truck cab running. He was able to get through a pedestrian gate because the sentry, who was working alone, was moving cones to allow MA2 Mark Mayo's vehicle through, according to the investigation. The report says Savage ignored the commands of the sentry to stop and was talking in a cell phone headset, waving arms, appearing drunk. The report says the sentry radioed the Mahan's quarterdeck and that Savage ignored commands from the officer of the deck and the armed petty officer of the watch on the Mahan. They notified security operations by radio. The report says Mayo heard the call and responded to the ship's brow, or walkway. When Savage wouldn't respond to commands, the report says the petty officer of the watch pulled her gun. Savage said, give me that gun, and wrestled the gun away from her, throwing her several feet, according to the investigation. The report says Mayo entered the quarterdeck and stepped in between Savage and the petty officer of the watch, shielding her. According to the investigation, Savage shot several times at Mayo, killing him, and then the chief of the guard under instruction and a topside rover shot and killed Savage. And the report also says that the petty officer of the watch who was protected by Mayo took out her baton to engage Savage after Mayo was shot. Now, all of the officers on duty at Gate 5 that night were immediately red tagged, which means removed from law enforcement duties and are not allowed to carry a gun. The officer in charge whom the report says let the Savage through that gate is still red tagged today. The Navy says the people involved in this incident could still face further disciplinary action. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. And this report contains extensive details of that night. You can read the Navy's full investigation on wavy.com. You'll also find a list of the Navy's corrective actions along with the special coverage page of the Mahan shooting.